All right, hello chaps. Welcome to Wreckfest. Just thought I'd pop on to Wreckfest and uh, give you a quick tour around my garage. Let you know my thoughts on the vehicles that I've got, so that you can perhaps um, have some tips for when you're when you're picking up some vehicles for yourself. Um, okay. Just before we go into that, I think we'll have a look and see what cars I don't own. It's because that's easier, because I've got less of them. So we can see that I've not picked up these ones. I'm surprised I've not got that one actually, but there we are. Obviously, decided I didn't need it yet. So still a fair few there for me to pick up later. Um, got sisters of some of these, I think. <clears throat> anyway, let's have a look at what I've actually got. Now, I'll mention those which I think are DLC. So I'm doing all of this from memory. Um, so it might not be 100% correct. Yeah, special class harvester, bumper car. Lawnmower, school bus. We're not going to be racing with these. This one, Al used the other day. I really don't know anything about it. Pretty sure this is DLC, as is this, as is this. I think this is available. Might have been given this actually. I'm not sure about this. I think this is available to you. There we go. This is the start. So <clears throat> this is available. Uh, Boomer. Excellent car. Little Ford Mexico, I think. Uh, we're a good little racer. Front engine, rear wheel drive. So a pretty good balance. Light, small car. Cop car, pretty solid. Probably do similar job to the Matador here so you can see the strength stat I've got for these two compare it to say the Boomer uh, you can get an idea of what what the purpose of those vehicles is <laughs> based on that um, so yeah mostly for anything that's gonna be a hell of a smash up get this out proper racing you're looking at the Boomer Hammerhead, this is the one that you can pick up, Hammerhead RS seems to be the fastest car in the game, um, so this seems to be a good shout when we're doing Class C racing, Hearst, I think this is DLC, uh, so don't worry about that, it's not that good anyway, Hornet, this is based on the BMW, yeah, it's alright, I think that's DLC again, this isn't, this is something that's available to you, the Killer B, really good in the um, offline game yeah I said this is based on a Trabant you're looking at rear engine rear wheel drive here so online you're going to get spun out quite a lot um, not really recommended give it a go if you want to you know, just understand rear engine rear wheel drive um, nice long wheelbase on the limo good for drifting um, but you've just got a lot of real estate for other people to hit there so not necessarily recommended. The truck, I mean, that's going to be good if you've got a lot of jumps because you've got a nice bit of clearance underneath. I say I've not used it very much, but um, it's there. I think this is DLC, as is this. I mean, that's the Mini. Front engine, front wheel drive, excellent handling. Very low on strength, but good for racing. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that's DLC. I think so is this. This is available to you though. Good car. Good car. I think we started off with this one. <clears throat> Did quite a lot of this on the on the main game. Um, this is DLC. I think this is available to you. Nothing special. I think I used it on the main game though. Um, but I think that was because there's a Mud Digger special event that you need to enter. Um, I think this is available to you. 
I've not got a lot to say. Front engine rear wheel drive, you can see it's reasonably strong. There's no, there's no real upgrades. Like it's not carrying a roll cage or anything. Bit of fun. I think this is DLC. Um, I don't really recognise that, so I think that's DLC as well. This is the starter car. Um, you can see I've lumped a load of bits on it. I mean, yeah, excellent, a really good starter car, but as you can see, I think that's got full power and full bits on it, and it's stuck at B209, so you're looking at C and B class for this, really. It's not really going to be any good once you get to the A class. Right, then we're into a load more DLC again. I think I don't remember this one. I think that's DLC anyway. And this. It's a lovely little car. I have to give that a go actually. It's based on a BMW again. Yeah. How oh, American this thing is. That's DLC, you don't really worry about that. Bullet. Classic, look at it. DLC though. Killer V S, very much like the Killer B, of course. Um, rear engine, rear wheel drive, brilliant car, but I think you're looking at something for the uh, offline mode. Yeah, it's based on the MR2 Mark One. Great little engine, really like the look of this car. Yeah. Proper box wedge thing. Uh, I haven't used it much though. No, that's DLC. Rammer RS, good car, solid car. Um, yeah, yeah, worthwhile. You can see, I think this one here, you've got it. I've got it set up in case I need a smasher and crasher in the B in the B class. Um, this is DLC Skyline, lovely DLC again. I think this is DLC 2. Here we go. One of the reasons why I want to make this video. Panther RS. Brilliant car. Really good. You can see I've got a load of bits on it there. And it's strong. Um, oh, actually, the rating would go through the roof. I took all that extra metal out of the car. Uh, really highly recommended. Front engine, rear wheel drive. Very adaptable. Um, yeah, definitely. Definitely one of my favourite cars in the game, based on the Jaguar XJS. Yep, fabulous car. Good one worth picking up. And I think this is DLC. I can't remember. But yeah, four wheel drive truck, very handy. Um, another four wheel drive truck, again, very handy. Grand Duke. I think this is the strongest car in the game. So. Yeah, I think this is the strongest car in the game. I see a lot of people rolling it out for big smash ups. Uh, I've done the same. And uh, yeah, Grand Duke. Obviously, that makes it very heavy. Um, but it is what it is. You, know. you want to be able to stay in the race and take the punishment. There you go, Grand Duke. All the bits front, back, rear, roll cage, everything. Strength of eight. Quality car again, Road Slayer, next to it the Road Slayer, the Road Slayer, Road Slayer GT, good cars, front engine, rear wheel drive, yeah, speed demon, used this a fair bit I think actually, good balanced car, um, yeah, front engine, rear wheel drive, here we go, now the choice for the front engine, front wheel drive. <clears throat> Not really use this one online, but offline, I won a lot of races with it. Um, you see, I've not gone with a front ball bar, but a rear. That might just be for looks, actually. Um, based on a little Honda CRX. Lovely little car. Not strong. <clears throat> not strong, but you know, as the Mini's DLC, good alternative to the Mini. Going to give you a very similar um, performance to that to that Mini. You know, front engine, front wheel drive, and um, not strong, similar size as well, a bit bigger I expect, 
But yeah, good car. Boomer RS. Very nice. I like this in the white. Come with a big spoiler. Got brush guards front and rear. I think they're for looks really. More than more than being used. Not really used this one online. Being used offline. Um, <coughs> yeah, double decker. It's in the wall digger. You see it's very strong. Very strong. A lot of people using this online for for high strength vehicles. Sunrise suit, this is one of my favourites on the game. You know, I won a lot of races offline on this with this. Um you can see just running the front brush guard. Um, battered bodywork. But um yeah, fabulous little car, front engine, rear wheel drive, very quick. Again a bit delicate, but you know, if you want to add a bit more weight you can strengthen it up. Truck. Yeah. Venom. Uh, another another brilliant car. Uh, again, front engine, rear wheel drive. You can see this one's a fair bit stronger than the Sunrise Super. Looks like it's running the same amount of armour as well, so maybe a bit more at the rear. But overall, it's going to give you a bit more strength than that Sunrise Super. Um, but no, it's probably going to be a bit heavier. Okay, these are DLC. Um, yeah, this is DLC. Four wheel drive. Oh, brilliant, yeah. Drags that. I've not used this very much. Um, I'm not sure if this is DLC either, but you can see. Uh, and then, there we go. 366. Class A. Fastest car in the game. Got. You can see through there, there's no roll cage. There's no front bumper. You can find this little metal splitter that goes in the front, and that puts it all the way up to 366. Um, so yeah, that's that's my garage, um, and the vehicles in it, and some thoughts about each one. Obviously, you can change the parts on them and move them around in the in the classes, but some vehicles are are a bit more limited than others. You see that. I've got like the Killer B down here, and then the Killer B S is doing is doing the more heavy lifting at the, at the upper ends of the of the ranking. Uh, it's because it's got more capacity to get up there. So I would expect that the Killer B S would be very very similar at the, at the C one sixty four level. Um, I haven't checked it, but I think I think that's the purpose. So I'm mostly racing in the C class and the A class. So that's that's where. That's where the focus is. Um, and yeah, I've got some in the middle that are kind of stuck. I found the rocket didn't really fit either bracket all that well. I wanted it to be somewhere up here, B two, three, four, but it looks like I've got the strength position occupied by this rammer, and then speed from the razor and the bullet. And let's buy some bits for this now. Oh, we got seven grand. Brush guard. Brush guard is that good? Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is the lightest one. We had 15 kilo. And, oh no, that's lighter. Maybe we'll have some of that. What about the rear? Can we do a delete on the rear? No, there is no half cage. What if we do no cage? No, we might as well have a cage. In the real world, the cage adds structural rigidity. You get a performance benefit from a cage. I don't know whether you do on this game or not. No, we don't want that. What about any of this? How does it look? That looks silly. That looks quite good. I like it with a mesh actually. Yeah, with a brush guard. That's quite good. That's good. Right. 
you kind of got the A-rated engine in it already. You know, and you've got to pay for all of these. C-rated engine. So I'd always do it like this. Do the air filter. Do the exhaust. But I mean, this is the way you do it all the way. <clears throat> you know, let the engine breathe first. Uh, are we already up against it? I can't remember where the cap is. Is it 234? Yeah. Mistaken. Whatever I do to these, we're going to be up there. Right. Let's put this manifold on and see whether we drop the fan down. No. That manifold is too good. Let's drop this down. Ah, there we go. And yeah, there we go. 234 rated. Gorby, ready to go. Cool. Any questions, let me know. Catch you later. Bye.